be telling you guys how to make you drive me wild cookies. Um, I'm super, super, super excited to be showing you guys how to make these. I hope you guys like these as much as I do. They're super cute. I've been trying to, um, I've been wanting to do these for a really, really long time. Like always, the materials for this um, is going to be listed down below. Also, with some links of where you can buy some of these um, or some of the things that I use. And just as a side note, because I forgot to show you guys how I um, got the shape of this cookie. I don't have a car cookie cutter or car shaped cookie cutter. So all I did was I, on a piece of paper, um, I drew out a car and sort of what I wanted it to look like. And um, then I cut it out. I put it over my cookie dough and um, with just a paring knife, just cut it around. And then I got these shapes. <gasps> I, I saved it. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my gosh. Okay, so nothing happened to it. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. Um, okay, <laughs> before anything else happens, let's get started. So we are gonna start by outlining the car shape of the cookie. I'm using some 20 second consistency pink royal icing and a number two tip. I left a small spot on the top for the uh, back window and then two small holes on the sides for the lights. Now taking a number one tip and some gray 20 consistency royal icing, I'm outlining the bumper. And I let my pink royal icing crust for about 10 minutes just so that none of the colors blend together. And taking a toothpick as always with royal icing, I'm just making small circles to kind of fix the shape if I need to and also to prevent any air bubbles. Um, and just to make the icing nice and smooth. Once that is done, I'm taking some um, white oral icing, again, 20 second consistency, and I'm filling out or filling in the window. I'm also filling in the two holes. As you can see, I went over the actual little hole but because I wanted the lights to be a little bit bigger, and that's totally fine. You can totally fix um, anything that you need to fix with the royal icing and a toothpick just make it a little rounder and nicer You can definitely make these lights red if you wanted to I just thought that white lights with pink Sprinkles would be cute, but you can definitely use any colors for um, any part of this if you want to now again with a number one piping tip and some royal icing, and this is a bit stiffer, this is about 25 seconds consistency, I am making the license plate which is just a rectangle between the two lights. Now with some more of that gray icing, I'm um, coloring or filling in the wheels. And you can use black royal icing for this, but I just thought that I'd just use some of this gray icing and then paint the wheels later once the icing is nice and dry. You want to wait till the bumper is about 10 minutes or so or it has been sitting for 10 minutes just so that it gets a little bit crusty and so that the wheels and the bumper don't blend in together. Now taking a small pointy brush and some black food coloring. I am just writing, you drive me wild on the license plate. You can use a food pen if you have one. And you can use black whirl icing in a very, very fine piping tip. Um, but I thought that it was just be easier and better with a brush I get a lot more precision and then you want to outline the license plate and once you have that all done you are completely done I love these cookies so much I hope you guys definitely try these out thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week rest of the day um, God bless you guys and 
try these out. They're super adorable, super cute. If you missed my last cookie video, I will link it over here. And if you missed my last crafting video, I will link it down here. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you haven't done so already. And to subscribe and to like this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!